you go out into the wet meadows outside of Boston in the beginning of the summer, you might get to witness a once-in-a-year phenomenon for one delightful pollinator species. This event begins, however, in September and October, when tiny black and orange caterpillars like these ones are Feeding on white turtle head, or English plantain, these caterpillars grow to the size of a penny before dropping to the ground and entering diapause for the entirety of the winter. But after a few months underground, in April and May, these caterpillars come up for a feeding frenzy. In a couple of months, after consuming leaves and fattening up, they can quintuple in size. And when the time is right, in late June, they become a mosaic of orange, black, and white scales, ready to take flight. The Baltimore checker spot butterfly may feed on a variety of different flowers, drinking the nectar from black-eyed Susans, dolphins, thistles, and daisies, just to name a few. They take to the flowers in droves. Emerging in synchrony, the Baltimore checker spots flood their flower-laden meadows. Some patches of habitat are capable of supporting up to thousands of butterflies per acre. They thrive on the well-managed conservation lands of Massachusetts. In less than a month, Baltimore checker spots emerge, feed, mate, lay their eggs, and disappear, leaving their field to the next generation of caterpillars and butterflies. But if you find yourself in the right place and at the right time, you might get a visit from a new winged friend.